I really just looked at myself and I'm like, girl, you are that girl. You are beautiful. Skin on 10, makeup on 11, lashes on 12. Gotta keep the focus in my own lane, in my own way. Hey girl, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Y'all just saw I worked out. I got a good old workout in this morning. It was so, so good. It was my best friend and then she brought her cousin. So the vibes were just there. But right now we are on our way, well about to be on our way to a nail appointment. I've had this little purple situation going on for a few weeks and I don't mind. But also, these are my real nails y'all. I decided to take a break from doing like the acrylic. Well, I never did acrylic. I always did SNS with a tip. So I decided to take a break from the tip and just let my natural nails grow out. And I feel like they're getting so long. So we're gonna go get another spring color and a pedicure. Cause baby, when I say my feet are screaming, it's so bad. I haven't got a pedicure in like a month and a half. So yeah, fit check, just a little white tee, leggings. Ooh. Uh, I don't even know what way to do this. Some sneakers and then a little crossbody bag. Ezra is staying here, so it's definitely giving mommy time. Self-care, need that. I don't know why, y'all. I just like, I was in a great mood. And now it's just, I don't know. Like, maybe I needed to eat. I mean, I did eat. Maybe I need something sweet. I did make these lactation bars yesterday. Maybe I just need something sweet because it's giving attitude. I don't like it. Okay, so I made these with y'all in my 24 hours with a four month old. They're lactation bars. So they're supposed, they're supposed to help with my milk supply, but they're really good. I do enjoy them. They're a little sweet. So it's like when you need a little sweet treat. And this little tan is so cute. I got it from Target. But it's basically like oats, peanut butter, flaxseed, um, chocolate chips. I'm gonna add some brewer's yeast in my next batch because I think that's really good for your multiple. And maybe some, like drizzle some chocolate on top, you know? But we need to hurry up. I need to get my nails done in an hour and a half because I need to pick up Genesis, so let's go. <sighs> okay, girl, I just got my nails done i did not bring y'all with me unfortunately girl i just needed some like mm, i just feel like i just having one of those moments you know when you just irritated <laughs> i really didn't have any reason why i was upset i think i was just a little overstimulated ezra's been like a velcro baby as of recently so i cannot even put him down for like two seconds he's taking a nap right now that's the only reason why i'm able to leave the house i think that has just been a little bit much and i've been feeling a little overwhelmed so this was nice getting out and getting my nails done but man i was sitting in there y'all and this lady walks in and she was like talking to her nail tech and she was like i have something to tell you and she was sitting right next to me so like she was speaking a little bit louder so like i could hear like i wasn't like eavesdropping i mean technically i was eavesdropping but like i could hear it was within you know hearing range and she was like you know, I got diagnosed with stage two ovarian cancer and was just going on about like what that entails, like the treatment she has and all that type of stuff. And I'm just like, sitting here like, first of all, I was praying 100%, you know, praying for her, praying for her healing. But also in my mind, I'm thinking like, dang, here I am literally mad about nothing. I mean, in retrospect, mad about nothing. Just upset when it's just like some people are dealing with like such heavy heavy things and sometimes 
I lose sight of like the little things, right? Like how blessed I am to simply be healthy in my body. And that's not a little thing. That's a huge thing to be healthy in my body or to be like cancer free or to be free of sick, like all of those things. And then you encounter people who are like struggling, but she still had like this joy about her. She's like, you know, but you know, I'm just, I'm ready for the fight. You know, I'm not going to be mad about it. I'm not going to be angry about it. I'm just sitting there like, that's crazy that's crazy and her perspective really just blessed me and just encouraged me like girl you have so much to be happy about and nothing's ever going to be perfect in your life like you're never going to have like a perfect life where everything is aligned like there's always going to be some area where you feel like can improve but it's like you also have to realize one you're living in so many answered prayers right now in this moment and two you are so, so blessed in so many little areas that you don't even acknowledge. Like the fact that you're breathing, the fact that you're walking, the fact that you can move your arms and your legs without stroke. Like all of that is such a blessing that I know sometimes I take for granted. So I just had to pray and I was like, God, I pray for her healing. But I also thank you for just my life. And I thank you for everything that you've done. The small little things, like the small little things I was just praising him for. And it definitely helped me, you know, I, I felt a lot better because perspective, you know, when your perspective starts, starts to change, you have like a paradigm shift and you realize what you were upset about is not really actually that deep, you know, but that's kind of what happened in the nail salon. I ended up getting these little French on my natural nails y'all I don't know if I told y'all but these are my natural nails and they look so good but this little nail spot y'all I feel like they be changing their prices every time I come here they just get more and more expensive every time I come here like a pedicure and SNS on my natural nails for 140 that's kind of crazy 140 it's crazy and I just got gel on my feet white regular gel and I just got French SNS on my hands for 140 I don't know because it's really giving kiss press on these days like <laughs> I don't know but anyways y'all I'm gonna go pick up Genesis it's 5 30 and I've also been dealing with the dinner time somebody left a comment that really did encourage me though I gotta find it I wanted to talk to you guys talk to you guys about it it was saying something like the oatmeal and like the sugar and the french fries that she wants to eat. It's because that stuff is like addicting. <laughs> so of course she wants to eat it. And somebody was giving me the advice like try to wean her off of it. You know try to substitute if her body's craving carbs like find out what other alternatives like healthy alternatives for carbs there are and just try to obviously I've been trying to prepare her like what we've been eating but she don't like what we've been eating so I'm gonna try to prepare her her own dinner every single night even if she says no in my face 10 times if she says yes once that'll be a win so this week we are definitely going to be trying to get genesis to eat we've got the baby shower on saturday which i'm super excited about we have so many amazon packages coming in for the baby shower so it's going to be baby shower prep all week i've got to make eva's gift i'm doing like the whole beautiful baby shower gift with like the little um closet thing do you know what i'm talking about girl if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about but if not i'm going to show you what i'm talking about and um, then we have Easter this Sunday. This week I also want to do some type of resurrection activity with Genesis because I know we in the Easter's and the bunnies and the hops and the Easter's and that's your business. But personally for me, you know, this Sunday is about the resurrection of Jesus. So I want to do some type of activity with Genesis that just shows her like this is what this holiday is about. It's about Jesus defeating death so that we could live. So I want to find something cute and fun to do with her. Some type of like activity some arts and crafts situation that we can do because i was gonna do easter baskets but then i was thinking i'm like hmm, i really want to put the focus on jesus during this season and i think things are so different because like once you have kids and once you have families like you start to set your own traditions and when i was a kid like my dad would always get me an easter basket and i absolutely love that but for my kids like i want them to know why we are doing this like why this is being celebrated why we have this day so i want to you know turn the focus on jesus and that's what we gonna <laughs> got my battle battle also shout out my members shout out my girls shout out my members shout out my girls let's do a member shout out this week because memberships are now live and i was just talking to my girls when i was getting my nails done i was just telling them like the key keys i'm like girl like i'm just going through it and they were just giving me the encouragement i needed but shout out to all my girls. I want to shout out Kristen Cox. She's my girl. She's my good sis. She's part of the 
I think she's part of the the holy girl chat. So she's part of the day one besties. If you want to be a day one bestie, if you want to be in the group chat, girl, join my memberships. And it's T. <laughs> shout out Kristen Cox. That's my girl. If you want to shout out, join the membership. But I love y'all, and I will talk to y'all a little bit later. I'm gonna go grab Jenna from school. Okay, listen, y'all. I have my man, my man, my man here. Y'all always ask why he's so dressed up because he's the CEO boss man. He's Mr. CEO boss. The funny thing about this you is, so I used to hear stories about my dad. They said my dad literally would just dress up for no reason, just to like go to the park. But you be on mad like, calls. That's why you be dressed up. I yeah, I mean, I am like he's not just walking around in a suit for no reason. <laughs> like no. he's he's standing all business, like. And also for productivity, like I can't work, especially when you work from home. I can't be in sweatpants. And take my life seriously. Mr. Boss CEO. So I have to look, he at least look how I feel. You, you have, have been promoted. promoted. You, you are, are now one of my elite employees. employees. Here's how it turned out, y'all. Toddler stir fry. No meat, just noodles and broccoli. We've got some blackberries. And I feel like I want to add an addition. Like a little, like, something. Bread, maybe. We're going to do this until we see progress. Like, it is what it is. She's not eating oatmeal anymore. Like, she needs to eat real food. And I feel like if I just keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on giving her what she wants, she'll never learn to have like a balanced meal. So, let me find something else and then we're gonna sit down and we're gonna eat. I also wanna try maybe if she prepares her meals with me, she'll feel like she was a part of it and then maybe she'll wanna eat it. So, I don't know if y'all have seen like those little toddler, um, like the stools that reach the counter. Maybe I'll get one of those so she can see like how I'm preparing her food. She'll be interested and want to do that. We'll try some different methods. I'm, I'm gonna stand on business for all the picky toddler parents who are struggling and need some help. We're gonna find all the methods. So let me grab one more thing and then we'll complete her plate. An egg roll would be good, but I don't need, you're not gonna eat an egg roll. Okay, let's pray and ask the Lord to help you eat this. Ready? Father God. We just pray for Genesis, Lord. We ask that you help her to just step out of her comfort zone. Give her the confidence to step out of her comfort zone and know that it'll be okay. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, so these are noodles. It's stir fry. It's sweet, so I'm sure you'll like it. You want to try a little bit? Okay. Yeah, we'll try. It'll be good. Hey, bro, you sleepy. Ready? That's why you act like that. You are. Don't talk back to me. Yummy. You are sleepy. I see it in your face. Good job. You just crying. No, grouchy, no. Grumpy. Here, maybe I'll cut it up for you. It's too long. Dad, are we making progress here? Good job. Dude. Do you understand that, that, man, man? Do you understand that? Y'all don't understand how much of a milestone this is. I feel like I don't want to make any sudden movement. Happy. You're happy. Um, so when we eat and our bellies are full, we get happy. I get hangry too. When I'm hungry and I'm not eating, I don't feel good. But when I eat, I feel better. So there's our lesson. It's better to eat, you know? Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> okay, yay! Yay! Stir fry for the win. Yes, because it's sweet, but it's still something. Maybe if we can eat some broccoli too, that would be great. No pressure, no pressure, no pressure. This is a milestone. I'm so proud of you, Jenna. And you got some berries. You can get some fruit. So you can get some fruit. Now our next step is going to be proteins. If we can get some proteins going. She does like chickpeas, so we might have to do some meat alternatives. For whatever reason, she just does not like meat. Um, so we'll do some like chickpeas. Maybe we can do some black beans, like a black bean meal tomorrow. Maybe we'll do like a black bean quesadilla. I'm gonna be coming at y'all with the toddler recipes, okay? We're gonna do this. She's eating it, Javon. Yeah. Don't make it seem. Right, that's why I'm like, no sudden movement. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the key is to not let her have any snacks before she gets, when she comes home. Cause she's her hungriest when she's home like when she first comes home. So just give her dinner right when she comes home. So she'll eat dinner and then you can have like a, you know, late, little late night snack before bed. But first things first, we wanna eat some real food. Yum, that's good. Huh? Broccoli. <laughs> she said broccoli. 
Jenna, you're so smart, seriously. She knows, y'all, she knows her ABCs. She was saying her little ABCs. Say A, B, C, D. H, I, J, K. L, M, N, O, P. Now I know my ABCs. Oh, this just made my night, Jenny. You made me so happy, seriously. You made me happy. Thank you for eating. This now makes me excited because I can now try new recipes. I will update y'all a little bit later. I'm going to finish dinner with her. And I think we have some Amazon packages that came in for the baby shower. I'm going to show you the theme, the decor, what's the vibe, what's it giving because I'm super excited that it is this Saturday. My best friend's baby shower girl and you know i'm on the decor team very much decor and i'm about to lay it out hey girl all right so kids just went down to sleep i think javon's about to make us some steak mashed potatoes and a little veggie um i'm about to go to sleep y'all after this i'm done for the night so i will talk to y'all in the morning we've got a lot of amazon packages to open because it's about to be crunch time for baby shower so we'll do all of that tomorrow good morning good morning good morning i really feel in the little french because it's giving like oh she's a wife she's a wife i don't know i just i like it it's just a classy i switched from almond to square i'm kind of feeling it but we are going to do some skincare on this morning while we get dressed the babies have been babying ezra's right in this room i'm looking at him and we're taking a turn y'all four months i feel like they start to change a little bit and he's starting to change <laughs> genesis was turning up this morning i think she was tired so i laid her back down for a nap hold on let me ezra He's not crying now. He like fusses his way to sleep. He like makes these little sounds for like two minutes and then he goes to sleep. I'm gonna talk quiet because I don't wanna wake anybody up because he's just going to sleep. Genesis just went down to sleep. But yeah, I think she was just a little overtired. Like she must've just woke up and rem like in her REM cycle because she was a little bit angry. So I laid her back down to sleep and hopefully she's feeling better. Let me wash my face. All right, y'all, so it is a new day and I feel really good. Woke up, got to my prayer, utilized my prayer room, and just equip myself for the day because I feel like yesterday was just a little bit off. So I'm like, today's a new day. We're just going to reset and it's going to be good. On today's to-do list, we are starting baby shower affairs. We're going to open all the packages and kind of like organize and sort what it's what i'm going to show you the vision for her baby shower we're going to walk through and make sure everything is good any last minute things i do need to make her a sign you know like those welcome signs she just got some of her maternity pictures back she looks so beautiful oh my gosh i'm so proud of my friend like she has just been glowing this whole pregnancy she's been working out like she's been doing her thing i've been spot treating just twice a week with this so i was literally using this every single day and my skin was like raw around my mouth like this area it was so bad so i'm only spot treating on my chin where i have a little bit of texture and then on my nose i noticed when i stopped using this all together like my pores looked huge on my chin and my nose and you could feel it like i felt so much more textured so i've just been spot treating in those areas i don't do my whole face anymore i just put a little bit on my nose and then a little bit on my chin and i avoid like these areas i feel like these are sensitive areas on my face so i literally just do my chin like that's it but yeah we're gonna make her welcome sign i might as well just print that out send it to walgreens and pick it up today because on the day of i do not want to be like so stressed out and just running all over the place the um venue is already 30 minutes out so i want to prep everything as much as i can at home so that way when we go to the venue we can just set it up everything will be good smooth sailing we're also going to go to target so we can get some formula we're going to start combo feeding y'all know i was talking about this last vlog but this is some niacinamide serum i use the one from good molecules and i really like it i feel like when you apply a nice 
layer like a, a hefty layer like this much it makes your skin look so glowy i'm about to show y'all when you dry it down all the way but yeah so i'm gonna pick up some kendamil formula and try that out we're only a month out from our trip so i just want to kind of get him used to formula and we're going to do the combo feeding thing so one bottle of formula a day and then breastfeeding for the rest but then the four days that i'm gone obviously he's going to be formula fed for all those so i just want to make sure he's comfortable and able to have a full day of formula my closet's getting worse day by day like day by day and i really just need to be so for real and just clean it but it'd be so much having to clean a closet then i gotta go into the garage get all my summer clothes bring those in take all the winter clothes out bring them to the garage and it's like maybe you just have too many clothes my ass. maybe you just need to get rid of some of these clothes it's ridiculous but yeah that's kind of what's on the to-do list today i'm not gonna overwhelm myself that's why i'm like if i get to the closet today i'll get to it but if not then we're just going to really hone in on this baby shower stuff because i want it to come out very nicely so her theme is we can barely wait i don't know if y'all have seen that theme little bears we're doing neutral and pink and then we're gonna do some gold so we got these gold plates i have a centerpiece similar to this it's not as big but it's similar and then i did end up getting pink tablecloths they're like soft pink tablecloths and then the um runners i got like neutral runners so it's gonna be like a soft pink table with neutral runners with like the centerpiece i got some pompas to put in there so it's gonna be like very boho very cute very aesthetic i'm excited i'm excited i've never like planned an event like this well i mean I did her um, engagement party, but that was kind of at the house. It was a little bit more low-key. There's going to be like a lot of guests there, so I'm excited to put my decor skills to the test. So I have still been using this lip scrub from Bath & Body, and when I tell you, it is so good, y'all. Like, it's a scrubby down. Like, if you want a scrubby down, you need to get into this because you just need to be scrubbed down sometimes, you know? My lips look a little bit red. I'm going to do some of this just to lock in the moisture but i want to give y'all some updates on the hair situation so y'all know i'm experiencing lots of postpartum hair loss and one of my girls reached out to me who owns like a hair growth line it's called the glam room she's actually located in atlanta and i've used her stuff before so i've bought two of her huge bottles of hair regrowth serum and if y'all know i cut my hair all my hair off all my hair off i'm gonna insert a picture i cut all my hair off and i think it was like 2020 and baby it grew and flourished within a year because i was using her hair oil every single year but i will say her products are a little bit more on the expensive side but they're worth it because they actually work well she just came out with a whole bunch of new products and she was like let me send them your way like i'm confident girl we're gonna get your hair back i was like please because i'm not here fighting so this is the extra strength boost growth oil and as y'all can see i've already used this much she literally sent me this last week i've been using it every single night and i'm gonna start using it every single morning too especially like on my edges because do y'all see like it's really giving scarce but i even feel like since i started using it it's filling in a little bit like we're going to just apply this every single morning every single night like i am not playing especially when it comes to my edges i've been using it on my whole head but i'm really going to start focusing on my edges and then i take this scalp massager from brio and then i just massage the area massaging it just stimulates like growth and it also has let me turn it off so this is red light therapy i've been using um led therapy for like my skincare i got the skincare mask that looks super scary but i got this skincare mask and like the red function just helps with like anti-aging it helps to tighten your skin but then when it comes to hair i guess it's been known to also stimulate like hair growth so we're definitely going to be using these two products and she also sent me a whole bunch of other products let me send, let me show y'all so i'm pretty sure she sent me everything from her new line this is the extreme growth spray this is like the everyday spray i will say i wish i wish i wish i can really put this to the test but it smells so strongly of clove that like my pregnancy nose is still kind of there and i just i can't do it y'all i can't do it but 
I've heard amazing reviews on this. So if you don't mind like a clove smell, you might love this. It's just like a white color. But in it, it has aloe, rosemary, clove, vitamin E, and repetitory blend. And it says that um, after you've used our extra strength, the growth shampoo, then apply the growth spray to scalp, shaft to ends of hair. Spray can be done two to three times a week. And then this can be done... Well, she basically says use it after you use the Build Up Remover Scrub. Oh, I've been using it every day. Like at this point, I'm, I'm gonna need it to. I need it every day for you. So it's called the Glam Room. I'm gonna have our Instagram link down below. So I used this when I did my wash day. This is the Restore and Repair Hair Mask. And y'all, go on her page and see the reviews. People have literally had like alopecia, have had like postpartum hair loss, have had real genetic hair loss. And her products have grown it back so that's why i'm like i'm gonna go on this hair growth journey and i'm gonna use only her products like i'm only using her products besides my leave-in i'm still gonna use the camilla rose leave-in conditioner but when, when it comes to like my growth products my shampoos my like leave-in mask i'm only using her products so we're gonna see if we can grow back our edges and grow back our hair because i did wash my hair last week and i still had a lot of shedding so hopefully we can get this together so this is um her shampoo I really like this because it had like a little peppermint to it so it made my scalp feel really clean and then this is the restore hair mask I should have left this on longer I like basically use it like conditioner because I was in a rush but I'm gonna use it for I'm gonna leave it on for like an hour next time to really let it penetrate into my scalp but yeah y'all we're just gonna be on a hair growth journey we're gonna be patient with ourselves we're gonna be patient with our hair like the things that your body goes through and does after birth never fails to blow my mind like it just is crazy like how does me having a baby equate to my hair falling out also if y'all have any supplement recommendations like if you know a certain supplement or a certain vitamin helps with hair growth i'm pretty sure biotin helps with hair growth don't quote me on it but let me know i'm all ears i'm all here for recommendations when it comes to like how to grow my hair <laughs> girl i'm just in need i'm in need but we're going to every single day do the massager and do the oil and maybe i'll be able to do like it's just it's so strong like maybe because i sprayed a lot too i'm gonna at least do some yeah maybe i'll just do some on like my edges because those are the areas that really really need it yeah it is pretty strong but i like <laughs> that's what i did when i first got it i was like please grow me out okay so here's where we're starting it is what's today i'm pretty sure it's march 28th this is how the edges are looking we're looking a little bit scarce and sparse i will update y'all next week and we will do weekly updates of the hair growth but for now i'm going to get dressed and then we are going to get right into baby shower mode let's open up some amazon packages and just prep and plan and then also make the sign and print that out and go to walgreens and pick it up all right y'all we have some updates we have a teething toddler i'm pretty sure her molars are coming in so she was she was not happy but i do have something to show y'all i bought this because of a tiktok recommendation yeah. a long time ago I was like, I know I'm going to use this one day. And let me tell you, it works. It's the teething oil from Pumpkin Butt. Pumpkin Butt? This is the brand. It's on Amazon. I'll link it down below for y'all. Pumpkin Butt. We've tried all the ones at Target. Um, and I mean, they work like a little bit. But this was the first one where I saw like a drastic difference. Like she was literally going through it this morning. Screaming. Not happy. Wouldn't eat anything. I put it on her. We walked outside for a little bit just to calm her down. She came back in. She ate a snack, and now she's playing, and she's happy. So I will say this has been the best teething oil for us. We were using, I think it was, was it Dr. Brown's? I think it was the Dr. Brown's one. Was it? I don't know. Um, But, yeah. So, anyways, I just ordered breakfast, girl. I was going to cook. I was going to be like a whole, you know, in my Nara Smith era doing that. No. I want a DoorDash. I ordered some Maple Street. <laughs> and that's what we're doing. But I want to design the sign with y'all. Do y'all see that? Did y'all? Did y'all? Okay, I'm back from the um, throw up mishap. But I'm just sitting here thinking like, how does this house get so messy so fast? I want to try to implement a cleaning schedule. I've seen some people do that where they do like bathrooms on Mondays, laundry on Tuesdays, mopping on Wednesday. Like maybe I need that because I just feel like there's never a day when the house is not destroyed. Hey y'all. Javon's outfit of the day. 
Outfit of the day. This is the look today. Pippi long stock. This is it was giving Irish. It's giving I I have horses. Yeah, for sure. It definitely horses. gives I, I have horses. Life is a is a game. Why not dress up? You know. It's not dress up. This is actually life. Like you act like we just over here Halloween and just putting on costumes and stuff. <laughs> okay, so to make her baby shower thing, we're going to be using Canva. I love Canva because they already have really easy templates. Alrighty, I'm just gonna make one with a mock up and then we can change the picture if need be. Look at her, y'all, look at her. Oh my gosh, she looks so beautiful. Okay, we're just gonna use this one right now. If she wants me to change it, we'll change it. But let me go ahead and airdrop this to my iPad. All right, so I got the sign pulled up here. We're gonna go into, or not the sign, the picture. We're gonna go into Canva. I wanna look at a little bit more of their invitation. Canva has a plethora of options. So this is the one we just saw. This is what I did for Genesis birthday. It's funny, there you have that pulled up. Okay, so baby shower. Cause I want something where I can still put their picture in the background, but it still kind of like goes with the theme, you know? I might have to do something like, like I want to do the bear, but I feel like the bear looks really weird with the picture, you know? So it's kind of like you have to pick and choose. Let me just replace this and see how this would look. How do I, see, this is why I will stick to my phone at all costs, cause this is ridiculous. So, I just need to find a template. Maybe we focus more on like the colors instead of it actually matching the like theme with the bears. Cause I feel like it's gonna be hard to mesh the bears with their picture and make it look good. So I might just end up doing the colors which are like the neutral and the pink, like the light pink. Let me see how this would look. You see what I mean? Like that's cute, y'all. Like this is cute. To have them just kind of faded in the background. Okay, the juices are flowing and I actually love how like the flowers go with the background of it because they're at like a um, uh, what's it called waterfall let me work on this and i'm gonna show y'all the finished product all right y'all i just finished up the design here it is on the screen for y'all i feel like it looks so good i love that little like opaque situation with the text on it i feel like it's just a nice little touch and then the flowers it just goes with the theme so i think going with the colors opposed to trying to do the little teddy bears was definitely the move because it would have looked weird if like their picture was on there And then there was like some random little teddy bears, you know, so I like how this turned out But I think we're going to head out. I don't even know. I think Eva said she was gonna pull up She said do you want to do a little work date? But it's like can we do a little errands date because I need to go to Target to get some of that formula We're not gonna play with the fork but It's not yours and now all of a sudden Genesis is fine y'all So it's either that <laughs> teething oil really work or she was really just playing and didn't want to go to daycare today. But it's whatever, I'm fine. Ezra is also acting a little questionable, so I feel like we all just need to get out and get some air, and in the process we can run some of those errands that we need to, so I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's clean up and then we'll leave the house. That way when we come back we'll be happier and it will be better.
Let me just say, I don't know what Sunday put in that song. When I every single day, every single day, every time I'm in the car, I'm gonna play building on. Building on, building on, building on. I'm putting on, building on. That song, it's just like he really said, on my knees, I'm still stronger than my enemies. Meaning me praying, me in a position of prayer, I am stronger. Even when I look low, look down, I'm still stronger than my enemies. I said, you know what, Sunday? If somebody ever has a live show, somebody please send me the post because I am going. I am there. Anyways, <laughs> we are at Target. We've got a couple of errands to run. We're going to go to Target, going to go to Walgreens, going to go to Ulta, Sephora. Here at Target, we're going to grab the formula. Me and Eva did have actually a little mini work date. She pulled up and I was scrubbing the house down. Y'all saw like a little simple, oh, let me pick up, turned into me somehow mopping the bathroom, somehow putting away all the laundry but I'm glad I did because the house was a disaster and I feel like that's what was also kind of making me feel just a little bit overwhelmed but now that that's taken care of we're good to go run these errands Genesis is still at home and it honestly kind of feels nice like having her home in the weekday we try to keep her home on some Fridays but I think I want to also keep her home like a midweek maybe like a not midweek maybe beginning week maybe we'll keep her on like Tuesdays and Fridays because I don't have the stress of like, okay, I need to go pick her up. I need to make sure her dinner's done at this exact time. Like she's chilling at home right now. So I don't know, just, just some thoughts, just some very much thoughts, but it is full baby shower drive. Like now I'm super hyped. Now I'm ready. After I did the sign, it, it became real to me. I mean, it's always been real because I've been ordering stuff for the past couple weeks, but it's really about to be on Saturday and it's Thursday. This is crazy. Like my best, my best friend, my best friend is having a baby. God, you are too good. My best friend is having a baby and my babies are still young. Like I still have babies. So they're going to grow up together. They're so close in age. Like this is such a blessing. Also, I'm done wearing diaper bags. I've just decided I'm keeping a diaper bag in the car and that's just going to be in the car. And then I'm going to be cute and wear a purse. You know, you want to know why? Because moms are girls too. Moms are girls too. And I've worn a diaper bag for two years of my life and I want to wear a purse. I want to wear a purse and I want to look cute and I want to wear a purse. So that's what I'm doing. I actually want to make a big purchase very soon. I want to invest in like a luxury purse. So if you guys have any recommendations, like what's a good purse that's versatile? Like I want something big. Like I don't want a little mini bag, something preferably like this size. I was looking at the YSL ones and I might go that route. But if you guys have any purse recommendations, like I want a cute, simple, classy girl purse. Let me know. And we might be going next vlog to go purchase. But let's go into Target and see what we can find. I do have a list, so let's hope we can stick to the list. Right, we are in Target and I'm looking for a prenatal. So this is the prenatal that I have, not because I'm pregnant, <laughs> but this is the prenatal I took. And I think I've really noticed a difference, especially when it comes to like my hair loss, because I stopped taking about two weeks ago. Now my hair started falling out about three weeks ago. So I don't think me not taking my prenatal was the reason my hair is falling out, but I also think me stopping is not helping. So I think I might go back to this one, but I'm also looking for maybe a postnatal. I know Ritual has a postnatal. This is their prenatal. And I used to take Ritual's postnatal when I was postpartum with Jenna. Um, but I was also, when I was pregnant with Ezra, I was watching this TikTok and this dude was going through like all of the prenatals that are available in drugstores and which ones are best. And this was one of the top ones. So it's like, I might as well keep taking this instead of doing a postnatal. Because what's actually the difference between a postnatal and a prenatal? I think I'm just gonna stick to what I know because I don't see any good postnatals. Like the only one I see is this. And like, I don't really want to take a gummy. I just don't trust gummy vitamins. I don't know, something about it's like, is this sugar, is this like, you know? We're gonna stick with this one, but if you guys have any recommendations for like a postnatal, especially when it comes to like hair loss, let me know. Yeah, I think our targets are built different. I'm trying to find those like viral leggings that have like the fold over. I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. I did find these though. I'm not. I'm not ready to wear this yet, but what I am, this would be super cute. And I'm pretty sure I've seen this on TikTok before. It's just like the full wide leg. I'll show you a different color, it'll show up better. You know, with like the wide leg and it's supposed to snatch you in. 
but I'm not seeing any like leggings. Um, but I didn't come here for clothes, so why am I looking for, <laughs> for clothes in the first place? It's just like I want a little something, you know? But I'm not seeing anything, so we're gonna go to the baby aisle. Okay, so I found the formula. This is the um, Kennebec Organic Infant Formula. Now I'm trying to figure out what's the difference between this one and this one. So this one says milk based powder and this one says made with whole milk fats both of them are four zero to twelve oh good and i wanted it to say european made everybody was saying the u.s formula is like completely different the ingredients than the european one so we're just gonna get this one and just see how it works see how he does with it and if we need to alter or change we can try the other one but we're gonna we're gonna go with this one first I guess I should also get a little bottle cleaner now that we're going to see that's the thing like cleaning bottles is never fun so I'm not excited about that but if he can at least start to take one bottle a day I'll be happy with that and just start supplementing some feedings with the formula so we are at Sephora I'm gonna restock on the butter drop this is still to date like the best moisturizer i've ever used i'm not really fond of the cinnamon roll one i think it's nice in like the winter when you want to smell sweeter but now that it's like summer and i want to smell more fresh butter drop is the way to go this hit or miss but the tatcha one is honestly really good so i've been using the tatcha but as far as like everyday lip care i use the berry one and i like it i just feel like it runs out way too fast what else did I need to get here? Moisturizer for sure, moisturizer. I honestly love the Kiehl's. I've been using the Polish Choice, but this is my OG. Like, this is my go-to. Ezra, Ezra's over it. He's like, girl, please make a decision. I might switch back to the Kiehl's because I've been on the Polish for a minute. So let's see what the Kiehl's does to my skin. And um, I think that's all I needed here. I'm not going to go to Ulta and get that oil because I've really been liking the um, fragrance that I showed you guys last vlog. The little soliel blanc situation yeah so i think i'm gonna just stick with that and not put any fragrance oil on keep it simple keep it basic i'm just now getting back into like fragrances i used to when i was pregnant i didn't want to wear nothing so i think i think that's good for now but let me see if i find anything else and i'll probably talk to y'all when we get home it's like i'm starting to look at the makeup and everybody's been talking about the closest concealer so we're gonna see if this even gives what they're saying it gives right now i use the nars i think let me see okay i think this color is plus i already have makeup on so this might not be the best okay are we seeing any results here because i need like a good i mean i feel like the nars is good though I don't know if this color matches. Do you guys see a difference here? I got extra cheese on it and bacon because. I mean, I'm not really sold on this color, and I feel like this formula is a little bit weird. It looks like makeup. I feel like the NARS is not as like almost looks cakey, but again, I do have makeup on, so maybe putting makeup on top of makeup is not really helpful here. Ooh, this looks good. Look at this gloss. Yeah. This consistency looks um, like it's on point. I don't know. Maybe I need a new shade. Let me try to find a different shade and do it on this eye and see if it looks better. Because I don't like... This is like too yellow. So I found one in a different shade. I don't know. Maybe I need to come here with like a fresh face to really gauge. Because it's not selling me. But I actually use Huda Beauty. This is the concealer I use. And it's in Coconut Flakes. And I just feel like the color match was not perfect. And the huda beauty one matches me better so i'd prefer like a better match opposed to like a better formula that's just me but i did try one of their blushes i think the brand is called say 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 um one of the little pink ones and i think it's a little too pink it's a little bit too pink but i would like oh i've been hearing a lot about um the patrick star situations like their spray and then i think it was like their blushes or something this is their cheek clapper no i already don't like these colors at all i like like a light not like a baby pink but that's not it 
that's not the type of blush I like. I kind of like almost like this color, and that's not even a little deeper than that. A little deeper than this is kind of like the blush that I like. So, I'm not seeing anything else, but I did pick up this Anastasia brow, Anastasia brow pencil because I need something a little bit darker, and also this um, rose serum because I ran out of face serum and I need a rose serum. All right. I'm leaving, there's nothing else for me here and I'm not even going to keep looking because I'm gonna keep buying stuff that I don't need, so let's go. Hey girl, so I just got home and I'm just getting, you know, Genesis settled, getting the kids settled. I made her her dinner, so toddler recipe number two. We've got some mashed potatoes, broccoli, and some honey roasted chickpeas. So I just seasoned these up, put them on the stove with a little bit of oil, did a little honey glaze over them so it's sweet. So I understand that she likes sweet stuff, right? So I'm trying to incorporate that in like protein rich things. So chickpea is high in protein. If I add a little honey glaze, hopefully it'll be a win-win for us. It's sweet to her, but she's getting the protein I need her to get. You feel me? So I'm about to feed her dinner, but after that, I'm gonna show you all of the items that came in from Amazon for the baby shower. I did go and pick up the poster, so I'm gonna show you guys that. It did not come out as expected, only because I ordered the wrong thing. I should have ordered the canvas board but i ordered an actual poster so it's literally a poster but what we're going to try to do is put it on an old picture frame i have and hopefully it'll create like a canvas effect because i need it to be stiff it's like paper right now but i need it to be like a board so we'll try to you know maneuver that and see if we can make some shape with that so let me feed her real quick and then we'll do the amazon unboxing of the baby shower stuff good morning girl it is a new day it is friday and i didn't talk to y'all this morning because morning just got threw off my workout got rescheduled i wasn't able to make it so i just did some office work but then i remembered oh we got a baby shower tomorrow so that means we need to get these packages open and we need to just sculpt the scenery out and see what's good like ah this is so crazy we literally have a whole baby shower tomorrow okay i know exactly what this is i'm not gonna open this yet but this is basically a sign that you string along and it says we can barely wait I'm gonna have it on the screen for y'all so y'all can see, but that's what this is. I just got a whole bunch of stuff on Amazon, like just little signs, decor. I wanna make it look super cute for her and I want it to be special. So we also got some little decals. These are little bear decals. I'll open it just so I can show y'all. We're supposed to go to the event at, well the event space at 1230 tomorrow, me and all the girls besides Eva. So they're like just little bear. You see cute little bear decals. I'm going to link all this stuff down below in case y'all have a baby shower coming up and you need some inspo or ideas. I think this theme is so cute and it's going to look adorable. We also need to build her gift tonight. <laughs> so I'm going to show y'all because I got the thing in, but we've got to like assemble it, put it all together. It's, ah, I can't wait. It's going to be so special for her, y'all. I am just so hype. I'm so hype. So we have some bigger boxes. I think this may be what I was just talking about. Oh yes, it is. Okay, we gotta build this tonight, girl. And you know I can't build, so it's time. You know I love you, Eva. This is the little, it's right here for y'all, closet thing. And this is gonna have all of her gifts displayed, so I'm gonna put my goddaughter's clothes on here. And then I also got her, well, I'll show y'all when we put it together, but I got her so much stuff. I think this is gonna have majority of the stuff in it. Yes, ah, okay, 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 we're getting to the good stuff. So these are all of the center runners. These are the runners. So they look like this, but you take them out and it's like an actual linen runner. So these are gonna go on all the tables just for like a cute little aesthetic. You know, I'm here for the aesthetics of it all. So we're gonna do that. And I love that now I have all this stuff. Like I'm gonna be the party girl, like the party go-to girl. Like. Who's throwing a party? Who needs an event plan? Like, baby, I got it. <laughs> then I got, of course, a whole bunch of balloons. I'm pretty sure Eva, or not Eva, Allie said she has a pump. Not Allie, Grace. I'm pretty sure Grace said she has a pump. Let's hope she does. We need that. Oh, this is the tissue paper pom-pom kit. So if y'all have seen pom-poms, they look like this. They are neutral, white, and then a little dusty pink. So we'll put those together tomorrow. I got the Iconic 
baby stacking blocks box it's kind of hard for me to describe what this is because y'all are gonna see it tomorrow and i'm not taking these apart until the event but y'all will see it come all together i'm excited for this we gotta open this because i want to see what it looks like so this is i was conflicted because i wanted to do some type of like big sign but i know getting one of those like huge arches just wasn't realistic so i'm like how can i make this cute still but like you know stay within the budget and i found this and it's big too which i was worried about so we're gonna hang this up it says we can barely wait and then we're gonna do like a balloon arch around it we can barely wait isn't it so cute the theme is giving so i think these are the gift favors let me show y'all what i decided to do with that going along with the bear theme let me tell you <laughs> amazon can always get my coins like amazon has everything you need you can literally look up the most random stuff and amazon's like yep i actually do have that in stock for you goodness so cute so it's like a little pink bear candle and it says thank you for celebrating with us it smells good it smells like like that's fitting it smells like baby powder some of them are a little like distorted though i don't like that i think they look like they've been shook shook up a bit we might have to fix some of these see amazon will play with you though still super cute let's see and how many do they send me because it's supposed to be 30 this does not look like 30 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve this is twelve 36 piece baby shower gift maybe i mean i have some more boxes so maybe the rest are in here they better be okay well, let's hope the rest are in here because that definitely says 36 pieces so make it make sense i don't know what's in here let's see oh and these are the centerpieces so we have the bears did i show y'all the centerpieces and the boxes the baby boxes oh my gosh Y'all, I can't take all this stuff out. I'm going to have to show you it in more detail tomorrow. Because I have to put all this in my car. We got one last box. Oh, the pompas. The pompa, pompa, pompas. I think I have to let these sit in the sun for like a day. So I should probably take these out. No, I'm not taking these out. Because I can already see what's about to happen. I'm going to have to shake them when I get there. And hope they fluff. Because these are the real deals. These is not faux pompas all right so that is everything there's a couple things that are already in my car and the only other thing i need to do is run to costco to get some um just like little foods for the little appetizers for the mingle hour but other than that we're all good so i'm gonna load these all in the car and then i'll talk to you a little bit later i just want to make sure everything's situated because tomorrow at 12 30 we're going to the venue and we're gonna set everything up So this is gonna be like the display for all of the clothes I done got my baby girl. Oh my gosh. I also got her for like her bigger gifts, the Hatch Rest Go. Love this thing. So I'm gonna put this like here. No, this is not the Hatch Rest Go. This is the Hatch Rest second generation. And I got her the Hatch, you spitting up man? The Hatch Rest Go, which is gonna go here. Then, Y'all know I love the Tula baby carrier, so I got her this. I think I'm going to drape it on the side because this is a big box and I want her clothes to go right here. But I'm just going to play a montage so I can get it right in so I can make a TikTok for y'all because this is going to be so cute to make. So let's do it.
cute this is. Like, I did that. I can say as a godmother, I for sure did that. I'm kind of conflicted on how I want to position these. Boom. I'm like over here struggling trying to position this stuff. Maybe like this. Because I also got her these little. Ah! <laughs> Let me show y'all the sign. I never showed y'all that. I'm going to move this. Okay, so here is the sign. It came out so beautiful. Welcome to the Gills Traps. Baby, I'll show it. Baby, I'll show it. But it's a poster, right? So I freaked out when I went there. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a poster. I thought it was cardboard. What's going on? But then I got to thinking. I'm like, how can I turn this into what I want? Old canvas, 24 by 30. 24 by 30. I'm having Javon pick up some double-sided tape. And then it's going to literally be a canvas. It's gonna be so pretty. I think I'm gonna also, it's gonna like fit perfectly. I think I'm gonna drape one of those runners like over it. Not like over it, but like, shh. I have the vision in my mind. Remember y'all, I made this on Canva. It was free to make. I think it was $12 when I printed it out. Um, Walgreens always has like coupons and discounts you can use for any of their printouts. So always look for that on their website before you, pay, before you pay for a price. Tomorrow we are in motion. It's giving baby shower time. We're gonna head to the venue at 1230, set up everything. I think I'm gonna end up bringing my clothes there. I'm gonna leave Genesis here, have Javon bring Genesis. Ezra's gonna come with me. We're gonna set up, baby shower starts at three. So it's giving crunch time. Ah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Psych mom duties have called and we are at Sprouts. <laughs> so Jenna came home from school and I noticed there was some like liquid coming out of her ear. Well, it wasn't actively coming out of her ear. It looked like it was dried. And I looked in her ear and it just looked like a little bit like wet. So I'm like, she probably has an ear infection because she's been a little fussy the past couple days. So I'm going to go into Sprouts and get what's called garlic. Hold on. It's the kid version and it's the ear oil. It's supposed to help fight the infection. Now I did call her pediatrician and we're going to get her in on Monday, but it's Friday. So like nobody's open and she's not in like active pain right now where she's like screaming and needs to go to urgent care. So I was like, let me just try out the oil, see if it works. And if she gets like progressively worse, I'll take her to urgent care. But if this can prevent it from getting worse, then we're going to try that. So we're going to go into sprouts and see, you guys see I'm in my like crunchy mom. <laughs> like, let me go ahead and get me a little organic, organic thing. Oh, no, I told you I'm not a crunchy mom. Like. I'll do this, but then baby can definitely eat some chicken away too. So it just never gave crunchy mom. More like fat and bougie. Like I just be feeling like a mother in these. Hopefully they have this in stock because my baby needs it. My baby needs it. All right, y'all. I literally just searched for the past 30 minutes in Sprouts. It said it had it on Instacart. Did not have it. It didn't have the adult version. It didn't have the kids version. So I went on Amazon and they do have one day delivery. Again, she's not like irritated about it but i know just how fast things change so that's why i'm trying to get it as fast as i can so hopefully this is actually one day shipping like i do not have the time for them to lie you know it says i'll be here tomorrow mark my baby my baby needs it i feel like our medicine cabinet is elite we legitimately have every single oil like now that we have this i feel like our medicine cabinet is elite when it comes to the kids like we got everything for every sickness possible because we've literally about gone through it all so i'm gonna go home chill you know calm before the storm and then tomorrow we're going in full on baby shower mode so i'll see y'all good morning girl good morning girl good morning girl i am already dressed as y'all can see i did a little cute braid and i'm dressed because i'm in a rush this morning was crazy um genesis still isn't feeling the greatest so javon's gonna stay back with her and it's just gonna be me and ezra going but i'm wearing that little dress from my haul from last vlog can y'all see it's a little like baby doll dress i'm gonna put some of this body illuminator on my arms and yeah we are in a rush um everybody's supposed to be getting to the event at 12 30. i have to push i'm not gonna be there until one because of just everything this morning so we're definitely in a rush here the good thing is i prepped everything last night everything is already in the car and good to go i am so happy that i did that because i would have been stressing out and i still need to run to costco y'all i gotta get some like quick little appetizers for the mingle hour so i'm gonna go to costco and grab that here's the hair i have this cute little braid in that i did 
This is just with a pack of braiding hair and I mix it in with my natural hair. I used to do this look in high school all the time. <laughs> it's my trusty go-to. And then for the scent, you guys know this is my current fave, the powdery coconut from Dossier. I wanna smell real, real good. We need to run to the car. The rundown of events is set up one to three. Baby shower starts at three and then it's just gonna be, you know, up and at it from there. Eva's not getting to the shower until 3.30, so we're gonna have like a little mingle hour. It's really 30 minutes, but that's why I need to go get the appetizers. So let's go, girl. We got a lot to do, but we're gonna get it done, and it's gonna be amazing. Let's just take a second and just, because I'm already a little anxious. I wanna invite God into this day. This is a beautiful day. This is a special day, and God, I just pray you can use me. I pray you can help me with my creativity. I Pray that you're in this room, in this space, Lord, that you're in this baby shower, that you're covering Eva and her baby. And I just pray that it is a blessed day and that your spirit is present in Jesus' mighty name. Let's go plan a baby shower. All right, y'all, I am in Costco and it is quite literally an Olympic sport on a Saturday. But I think that this would be a good appetizer, little mini tacos. I wish they also had beef ones, but they only have chicken. So I think I'm gonna grab two of these. And then I realized I didn't bring a pan to cook these on, so I'm gonna grab some aluminum foil. Hopefully that works for me. But yeah, this is like the only thing I'm finding that would be like a good little snack, little very much munch one while we wait for the real food. And Costco's usually good when it comes to like frozen foods, honestly. Like they'd be having their little dumplings and stuff. So I got high hopes in these. So just grab those and then some salsa and chips. I'm gonna ask one of the girls to pick up just like a bowl because I think I forgot to grab like a bowl for the salsa to go in. The venue is about 30 minutes away. So I'm gonna get there at 1.30, which is about 15 minutes behind schedule, but it's okay. We're gonna get there. We'll have two hours to set up. The tables are already set up. Chairs are already set up. Eyebrows are looking, yeah, thank you. I'll be going to this little Asian lady and she would get me right. She do not play, she get down like. I love my outfit. I told myself, I looked in the mirror, I was like, girl, you look beautiful. Like, you look beautiful. And it's been so long since I really just looked at myself and I'm like, girl, you are that girl. You are beautiful. Skin on 10, makeup on 11, lashes on 12. Like, you better be. Sometimes you just gotta say that to yourself. <laughs> but I'll meet y'all at the venue. We gotta get there real quick. And then it's time to set up. Y'all, we are in the space. The girls are here. <laughs> It's coming together. We already rearranged all the tables. It was looking like a meeting room, but then we changed them to an L shape. The um, the lighting in here is not the greatest, so please bear with me in these rolling lines, but everybody looks so cute. You see all the pink? Right now, we're gonna start decorating. We're gonna put all of the food down, all of the decor down. Baby, I am out of breath. I can't wait to see the transformation. So this is how it looks like before. And I'm gonna show you how it looks after. Let's get it. If I had to back, I would not get all that. I would have played it just how you wanted to play it. You didn't yet see my words, so you try to play me. But I was so in love. It's literally crunch time. So up here is gonna go that, um, is gonna be the big tapestry. So we're gonna put that up right now, but I'm so pleased with how these turned out. Also hung up a little sign right here. And then we're getting all the plating down. So the plating is coming down and I feel like it's really, it's starting to come together. Do y'all see how cute it came out? So we're gonna do like a little balloon garland arch. And I feel like this is going to be perfect. Everything is coming together. Grace is doing great on me. Centerpieces, it's looking beautiful. All right, y'all, so everything is done. I'm gonna show you guys what it all looks like. I'm so proud of us, like we really came together and it's giving tea. Balloon arch, shout out me and Allie, shout out me and Allie. These are the placements we did. I just feel like it's all so, so cute. All the bears. We are waiting on Eva, she's gonna be arriving soon. And then it's giving baby shower. We about to party it up for my girl. Eva. Look at my oh. best friend. <laughs> and look at my god, baby. Yes, get into it. Get she into looks it. gorgeous. <laughs> How do you guys feel in your baby shower? Oh, oh it looks so good. I'm excited. Thank you guys. Of course. 
Yes, we love you. Love you. Okay, we got one, two, three, go! <laughs> Like, I don't know, I feel like Maverick City has just done something when it comes to the gospel of it all. Yeah, like, I, ain't gonna listen to I like a little folk, Christian, a little guitar. Christian, Christian country western. No, I. <laughs> Those are the best type of worship songs. Like, I can get with Kirk when I need to get with Kirk, or I can get with Marvin Sapp when I need no swing. No, but I need It'll be like no swing in the drum. I, I prefer know. a little guitar, a little banjo, if you will. Because I already told you, like you can bring a banjo into the woods and you could be praising the Lord. You can't bring a piano oh, in a loves you, Michael. <laughs> you can't bring like a what what do they be using in the Baptist <laughs> church? It's like a piano, but it's a Little organs, yeah, stuff. organs and stuff. Like y'all be having organs. Like I need me a little banjo, a little banjo, <laughs> a little campfire, a little folk music. I like little folk. It's got a little folk to it. But anyways, y'all. <laughs> sure. Happy Resurrection Day! And he rolls, and he rolls. And if it was just you, he would have rolls. Ah, uh, this is just such a beautiful day. It's nice out. It's beautiful. It's sunny, and he rolls. He rose, y'all. We are on our way to church. I don't know why Javon over here saying little stuff to himself. Do you have something to say? No, I'm just over here just just singing one of your little country westerns. It's not country western. It's more woods. <laughs> Javon thinks this is country western, y'all. It's the it's the like You're clap hop, hopping around. <laughs> Jumping around, holding hands, you know, around a fire. And like, I, like, <laughs> around a fire is crazy. I am praising the Lord wherever I can. If we need to praise the Lord in the woods, I need to make sure I have music equipped. Like, I can be bringing an organ in the woods. I already told you. Like, we need some bass. Like, we need some, like. No, I like music I can jump around to. You know what's something I think about, though? You don't have to, like, have no rhythm. Okay, because I can find the jump. I can find the jump. I need me a jump. You know, you know when you, like, grew up, when you grew up and you would see, like, you know, people, like, falling out in church and you just thought it was, like, crazy and it was, like, actually playing? But I really be, like, when you really are feeling the spirit, like, you do be want to fall out. So I don't think they was playing. Who, no, who? some people was playing. Who? Like, just, like, you ever go to, because I, I went to a couple Baptist churches growing up. Like, I was never consistent, but I've been to some. Mm. And you ever see, like, people, like, falling out, falling out in the oh, aisles, yeah, falling out in the aisles. Running around, well, but it's I like that with the church that I grew up at. no, I know. Javon used to I used run to around, around playing laps. though. I'm like sweating, <laughs> beads of sweat all over me. This is when I was like six. Man, yeah, that used to be the best part. I used to be hot, hype. Everybody started running, I start racing, running mad. Mind like. you, they feeling the spirit, and Javon just <laughs> racing them. No, but like I get it now. I get it now. You know. Because you really do be wanting to run laps for the Lord. Like there's just so much in you that you just you can't contain. You just gotta start running around. So. All that goes to say, maybe the church aunties wasn't playing. Some of them was playing, though, because some of them really was just doing it to just do it. But when you feel that spirit, you just got to run around. You got to run around. We are actually pulling into church right now. The baby shower went absolutely amazing. Eva was just so overjoyed, and we we're just so happy that we could do that for her. If you don't know, now you know. Crossover Church ACL is where it's at. If you're looking for a home church in Atlanta, come check us out, y'all. It is such a community and a family here. So we're going to go praise the Lord on this Resurrection Sunday and thank him for the blood. Thank him for what he's done. Thank him. Thank him that we have a new life and a new way of being because of him.
come on, come on. Jenna, look. Jenna, look. Good job, Jenna. Good job. Grab the win. Get the egg. Good job. Get it, get it, get it, get it. A little bit later in the day, it's actually nighttime. We're gonna do some nighttime skincare routine while we wrap up this vlog. I'm gonna wash with my Tatcha wash. I already cleansed in the shower, but I like to do a double cleanse. I'll wash with a uh, La Roche Pose, and then out of the shower, I'll do the Tatcha. But today was so fun, y'all. We went to church. We had a really, really good service. The worship was so good. The message was really good. And it was just so crazy, because like all my friends, we all go to the same church. And I was sitting like a few rows back and they were in front of me and I was just looking at them and I'm just like, this is such a blessing. Like all of my girls literally are baddies for Christ. Like this is crazy. And I feel like my friend group is just undefeated. Even just seeing how we came together for Eva's baby shower, like Eva had such an amazing time. She just felt so loved and just like we care because we care y'all like we're just all the girls like we're just so similar in so many ways but also so different but our lives still like mesh and align and we just have such a healthy friend group like it never gave drain it always gives a recharge with my girls so let me wash this off and i've seen us all like grow our relationship with christ over the years and it's just so beautiful to see us like where we're at compared to where we started and yeah i just love my friend group bottom line but speaking of that we do have a girls trip coming up in november we decided we want to go to new orleans for grace's birthday so y'all can definitely expect that it's gonna be super fun this is actually my first girls trip ever and again it never gave toxic like i know y'all be going through it on the girls trips but i can have a <laughs> like i'm just i can brag on my friend group i don't know i love them so much but anyway, so we got that coming up and then we decided at the baby shower, we're like, let's run a 5K. Let's run a 5K. Let's run a 5K. A little backstory on me. I was a runner all through high school. I literally was supposed to go to college to be on a whole track team, had a scholarship, everything. Didn't go. Didn't go. And I'm glad I didn't because I want to be here. <laughs> want to be talking to you now. But yeah, so we're like, let's do a 5K. I literally grew up running. I was on the very much cross country team. I started off doing long distance and then when I transitioned into high school, that's when I started doing like sprinting, long jump, um, hurdles, like all the tea, all the tea, you know? So that's kind of my backstory on that. But obviously since having kids and all that, like your girl has, has just, you know, been struggling with the running. But Allie has been like ramping up my cardio on our workouts and then me and Devon decided three times a week we're also going to run around the neighborhood with the kids we did that this friday and it just felt so good i mean it felt so amazing to just run it really sucks at first but it doesn't take long for you to get in shape like if you run for a good two weeks every single day like you're gonna feel significantly better on the 14th day opposed to the first day the thing that takes a long time is like building muscle so i'm building muscle in the gym right now and that seems to be taking forever but literally for me just doing this two weeks of cardio i already feel my endurance coming back so all that goes to say it doesn't take long for you to get in shape when it comes to running it takes a little bit longer for you to like gain muscle when it comes to lifting but when it comes to running baby you can get in shape real quick i remember in track we had like two weeks of it was called hell week and it was very much that like it was very much that but by the end of the two weeks like you're back you're better so we're gonna be running a 5k in july so we're gonna be starting a new journey of running <laughs> if anybody wants to join me please feel free i would also like to say i'm never switching up on my girls at kiehl's i don't know why i decided to i mean this is great i do love this like i cannot talk down on polish choice but the glow that this gives you i was like i know something is missing from my skincare and i just couldn't put my finger on it and it was this it's this moisturizer because look at my face already it is such a glow this is it because i remember my skin used to be glowy and i was like what changed it was a moisturizer it was the moisturizer but yeah so that is kind of what's to come we're going to be prepping for mexico heavy in the next couple weeks i'm not going to be vlogging this upcoming week but i'll catch up with y'all the week after that do a little bit of a lip exfoliator i got this at bath and body and it's just so long i'm going to 
moisturize my lips with this. And then I'm so glad I restocked on this, y'all, because this is also part of the key to success when it comes to my skincare. Having a nice serum is essential. And this has like been my favorite one for a minute. I ran out of it and I never rebought because it's pretty expensive, but it's worth it in my opinion because it just gives you that top like gloss glow. Like if you want like glowy, beautiful skin, I feel like it does exactly that. Plus it's a rose serum. So it also like calms your skin if you have sensitive skin like me. But anyways, girl, that is the spiel on this week. I feel like this week was a little rose water. I feel like this week was so great. We got so much done. Um, I think I'm just going to end up making a TikTok about the whole closet situation. One thing I did do today is go in the garage and just like sort through the clothes that I'm not going to be taking in because I have like two bins of summer clothes. So I went through those summer clothes, purged that, made sure that anything that's in the boxes is like good stuff, good to go. And then I'm just going to take out my winter clothes and kind of exchange them. But I just might end up making a TikTok, girl, because I'd be stressed out. I just don't <laughs> But anyways, girl, I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you for spending the week with me. It was so, so fun. I can't wait to talk to you a little bit later and have an amazing week. I love you. I appreciate you. God bless you. Bye, girl.